A member of the House of Representatives, Yemi Aderamodu, says there is a bill for youth employment, but the House waiting for the signature and approval of President Mohamedou Buhari. Aderamodu, who is the Chairman, House Committee on Youth Development, said at this at the opening ceremony of the 58th Annual Scientific Conference and Workshop of the Association of Medical Laboratory Scientists of Nigeria in Adoikiti. He said the bill, when signed into law, will take care of the unemployment problem facing the youth. The lawmaker currently representing Ekiti South West Ikere Orung Ishe constituency in the 9th National Assembly promised the body that the committee will do everything possible to support the development of the health sector. The Minister of Health, Dr. Shege Henry, who was represented by the Chief Medical Director, Federal Medical Center, Ido Ekiti, Dr. Adekunle Ajayi, applauds the health workers for their professional display during the COVID-19 pandemic and urged them to do more in strengthening the health system in Nigeria. Earlier, the president of the Medical Association of Nigeria, Professor James Gaba, pointed out that even the, in the reduction in the COVID-19 pandemic, the health sector should not stop sustaining quality medical practice. The theme for this year's celebration is health system strengthening quality medical laboratory practice beyond the COVID-19 era. We have initiated a law that is waiting for Mr. President to, to sign now, which is going to be in force very soon. That is, we call it NYC Youth Development Fund, which is going to ensure that any Nigerian youth that graduates is having a day with the Nigerian government by saying that when you graduate, you will not be waiting for only white collar job. The blue and the green collar jobs are waiting there for you, just at the tip of your finger. I want to assure this association that wherever and whenever and whatever is necessary, for the business of medical laboratory yes. to be smooth in Nigeria, if it is legislation that you can count on me any day, any time. We had made a lot of positions to government, and usually when we come together, we share experiences, we share our research work, and at the end of the day, we will have our community we will come up with resolutions that can help us to give position to government that can help us so that we can strengthen the health system in Nigeria. We are all aware that our health system is actually in a bad condition, but the advent of COVID-19 has made government to ensure that more emphasis is actually played or laid on the medical laboratory. And on this note, we are saying that now that the cases of COVID-19 has drastically reduced, we should not stop sustaining quality medical laboratory practice in Nigeria. And so we are emphasizing that let us see how we can do as professionals to ensure that quality medical laboratory practice is sustained in this country. We are improving and building capacity for health workforce, including laboratory professionals, removing barriers and increasing access to health. We are engaging with development partners, improving governance structures and providing leadership. We are deploying technology to drive diagnosis, producing data and evidence which informs clinical decision making. The National Laboratory Technical Working Group has been striving with a coordinating office in the ministry and it is poised to advising government on issues of laboratory services. We will continue to improve on the funding of health care in our defense of health as a fundamental right of Nigerians. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.